We're going to start though tonight with the breakdown at the southern border. South Carolina now the latest state agreeing to send National Guard troops to Texas. Several Republican governors say they're assisting Texas Governor Greg Abbott's mission called Operation Lone Star in hopes of cracking down on illegal immigration. This now as the Biden administration enacted new immigration policies this month following Title 42's expiration. WCNC Charlotte's Julia Kaufman has the details. South Carolina Governor Henry McMaster says he's sending troops to Texas to help hold the line at the border. But some wonder why state resources are being spent in Texas. Following the expiration of Title 42, the Biden administration enacted harsher penalties under Title 8 for people entering the U.S. illegally. Texas Governor Greg Abbott argues they're not enough, so he's asked for help from other states to secure the border. Florida, Idaho, Iowa, Tennessee, Virginia, and now South Carolina answered his call. Governor Henry McMaster says in a statement, quote, the safety and security of South Carolinians require that we stop the drug cartels, criminals, and terrorists from entering our country to peddle their poison. But advocates in South Carolina say they haven't seen an influx of immigrants in the state since Title 42 ended. We have not heard anything even close to that happening here in our state. So that's why I'm a little perplexed as to why South Carolina feels the need to do this. Sue Berkowitz is director of the SC Appleseed Legal Justice Center, which works to safeguard immigrants' rights. She thinks efforts should instead be spent on improving the U.S. immigration system. Everybody thinks that it's so easy to come here and to find yourself here in a documented way, when in fact it is incredible incredibly difficult. McMaster has sent troops to Texas before in May 2018 for a mission started by former President Donald Trump. There are also South Carolina troops already there for a different immigration mission across all border states. Officials say they're still planning this latest mission and will determine how many troops they're sending in the coming weeks. They plan to deploy by July. In South Carolina, Julia Kaufman, WCNC Charlotte.